to one another. Alright, so not to be bitter, but if you're gonna buy this Philips pasta cooker, please don't. It's a piece of it's a piece of burp that out. It's not very good. Hold on. Philips pasta cooker. Yeah, so the internet has it for $2.99. I think I paid $2.57. Some of them are more expensive than some, but I paid $2.57 for mine. But it's a piece of crap. So, so I was all excited, ready to make this delicious ackee and saltfish ravioli. I whipped out my Philips pasta cooker. You know, I did my little video thing. I talked about my attachment, I made my attachment, I made my spin, I made the flames, and then I turned, see the book, pasta when you cooker. read the book, when you look in the book, when you look at the vibe, you know, you just get that vibe that's going to be beautiful, but don't let the book fool you, don't let the box fool you, don't let all those fancy recipes fool you, it's a peep a beast of blur, that thing out, it's not really good, the Philips pasta cooker, I really thought it was going to be fantastic, but turned out to be a piece of crap. So the recipes in the book was actually pretty fantastic. I had to whip out the rolling pin. They rolled out pretty good. You know, the, 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 dough came, the dough came out pretty good from the recipe. But it didn't come out pretty good from the machine. The machine wouldn't put the dough out. Then it put flour out. Then it didn't mix it right. So you gotta know, take it out, mix it by hand. I don't know. I just think the Philips people need to rethink this machine. Because if you're charging that much for, like, you could buy a KitchenAid. A KitchenAid is like 300, 500. It's not like buying this machine is, you know, giving you any deal. The machine is expensive, and it doesn't work. So if you have one of these machines and it worked for you. Hit me up in the comments, let me know, because I haven't brought it back yet, I'm bringing it back, but I haven't brought it back yet, so let me know in the comments how you deal with it, so maybe I can do the same. Open it, what you do is you pour the flour in there. As I said, I'm making a double batch. So the recipe is, uh, so the recipe is, let me see, the recipe is, uh, nine ounces of flour and three ounces of liquid as I said I'm making a double bath so so to do it you gotta put the, the flour in you gotta turn it on and then you gotta add the liquid through here <laughs> pasta cooker yeah so the internet has it for $2.99 I think I paid $2.57 some of them are more expensive than some but I paid $2.57 for mine but it's a piece of crap so I started out with this so this is how I started out with this process because I was gonna make uh, some fancy ravioli so I was gonna get the KitchenAid but I decided I was gonna get this and I was all ex excited about it about it I was all excited and this is this is how it started watch this video this is how it started so longest ravioli ever 
longest fettuccine ever, crazy chef, big vibe. I bought this mixer too. I like to buy stuff. These last two days I buy stuff. I just keep buying stuff. So I bought this mixer too because I want to mess with like, I want to make some carrot one. I want to make some kale ravioli, some spinach pasta. So for that, you're going to need a nice mixer. So I bought this mixer. So I added to the collection of this vibe. So as I said, crazy chef, big, big vibe. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the vibe. Let's make some Aki saltfish ravioli. Big, big vibe. Ooh, just to show you. Google, what time is it? The time is 6.02 p.m. Good. So it's 6.02. I didn't make a video today. Thank you, Philips. Yeah. Philips should stick to like TVs and refrigerators and microwaves and stuff. Pasta cooker? I don't know. Google, what time is it? The time is 6.02 p.m. Good. So, it's 6.02. I didn't make a video today. Thank you, Philips. Yeah. Philips should stick to like TVs and refrigerators and microwaves and stuff. Pasta cooker? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about the pasta cooker, but it's always a vibe. Always a vibe. Crazy chef, big vibe. Pasta cooker? I don't know. 